Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG Quickies. Got a little double feature for you today. We have a real car mod alert. And if you stick around, we have just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Some absolute mad lad strapped a radial engine to the back of a D-Series. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. But for now, let's take a look at this thing right here. What is this thing, you ask? Well, it's a 2011 to 2014 Mercedes-Benz B-Class, baby. I mean, it's not a it's not a head-turner or anything, but, you know, I always love my real car mods uh, in BMG Drive. It's brought to us from the guys over at Fastlane. You might recognize their uh, servers. They're also very prolific modder fast lane is and uh yeah this is one of his newest vehicles and we're gonna take it for a little test drive uh today what do you say anyway uh let's see the interior of this bad boy it is a mercedes so i'm expecting a little bit of a, you know elegance in here i don't know maybe this is like one of their cheap models do we even have these in the states this feels like a car that would only be in like the uk but i mean the wheels on the the right side of the car and by right i mean left but it's the correct way. It's the right way. And there's also a Canadian spec of this thing built into it as well. By the way, there's 24 freaking variants of this thing. So pretty much any flavor you could possibly want. Even a V8 swapped one right next to the electric one is God intended. And we also have a road trip version, which I think really all it does is uh, add a tow hitch and the roof box, but still pretty cool. We've got an Uber version, man. If you ever wanted to role play as an Uber driver in BMG Drive, I guess this would probably be the perfect car for that. Anyway, uh, let's get this bad boy on the road. I want to see if we can whip it around. How fast does it go? Well, I will say it's pretty darn zippy. For a, would you call it? Is, this isn't a minivan. I don't know. What is this? An SUV? Like a small SUV, I guess. I do not know. Okay. We don't need that bumper. It's fine. It's fine. I want to at least get on the highway. See how fast we can get this thing going. And then we'll crash it. And then we'll test the uh, the crash model here. Uh, my question is, can we get it to 100 miles an hour? It's getting pretty close. It's getting pretty close. 98, 100. There we go. Okay, so now let's get it onto the wrong side of the road. <laughs> and uh, running into a minivan. Perfection. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. That just clipped the audio so bad. <laughs> So yeah, the uh, the crash model isn't the most insanely realistic one I've ever seen, but you know it's definitely uh, definitely serviceable. By the way, Fastlane he has so many car mods, man, it's absolutely insane. Let me drop that out of the shadows so I can get a good look at her. There we go, safety, man. <laughs> I mean, you're probably gonna walk away from this, right? Oh, you know. I wanted to do something. I'm going to start doing this in all my car review videos. We got to get uh, the car door sound effects. See how, look how detailed that is. Oh my goodness gracious. I feel like I can see the skin particles building up inside that leather. Kind of gross, but absolutely amazing detail. Anyway, uh, let's get a good car door slamming sound. There's the opening and the slam. Beautiful. Groundbreaking content, I know. Does this screen seem like the bezel's a little bit too big to you guys? Like, I feel like you could have made it go way out to here. Why is it like that? Is it like that in the real car? Anybody drive one of these in real life? There's got to be one of you, right? Hit me up in the comments. Is this a car worth getting? I have a family. Is it a good family car? And we have seatbelts. Something else you don't see in this game very often. But yeah, I know you guys are wanting to see that V8 swapped. Uh, B class here. Let's try this one out. How much does this go for? 60,000? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What about like the baseline one? How much can you get one of these for? 24,000? I'm guessing this is like a 2011 though. Is that like the used car price? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's get that V8 swap and, uh, see if this thing can <laughs> get rip and tear. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Lots of tire spin. Lots of tire spin. A, a little hard to control. Very loud. Uh-oh. And there's traffic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
I will say I lasted longer than I thought I was going to before crashing. So there's that. Let's see if we can actually get up to speed. I need to get off this side of the road, though. If I were a smart man, which I'm not. But here we go. Just rip it down the Utah highway here. At 100 and... Oh, yeah. This thing's quick. 140 and climbing. And there's traffic again. It does not turn very well at high speed. I will say that. And easily loses control. And there goes our engine. Nice. You can probably walk away from that, though, right? <laughs> I don't know why, but I have a, an urge to see if there's anything weird about that Uber spec of this car. I know that sounds like I'm speaking German, but no, literally the Uber version of this thing. Does it have any, like, goodies on the inside? Oh, wait, did you see that? You got the Mercedes-Benz logo. Oh, is it not gonna, only going to do it one time? Okay, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe I hallucinated it. I don't know. But I was hoping uh, for this version there would be, like, a phone like strap somewhere to the dash, you know, where they can uh, type in your information and stuff when you uh, get an Uber drive. Anyway, I'm going to be real with you, Chief. I hate Uber, so this is what's happening now. We're dropping the Uber car from space, from low orbit, and boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been a good while since we flattened a car that good, man. Yikes not good so um i don't know how to transition to the next mod like fluidly it's complete opposite of a mercedes it is the d series radial plane engine <laughs> this thing is very loud oh my god very top heavy and i'm assuming probably very fast should we find out here we go three two one gun it Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir. It's quick. Uh, damn near uncontrollable. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it sounds cool, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not good. You know what? I'm going to go to... I want to see how fast this can go on the drag strip. I could definitely feel we had no grip whatsoever so let's go to the drag strip and see how fast this thing actually is by the way there's no like other additions of this thing it's just that it's just that i mean we do get the little blue bolts is that what those are which is kind of cool this thing just <laughs> it sounds so amazing anyway here we go three two one go whoa i had a feeling we were gonna pop a wheelie there Oh, beautiful. 130 miles an hour. I mean, it is an airplane engine. After all, all this needs is some wings, man. Maybe a propeller. That would be cool. 160 is about what it tops out at. I was going to see if it flies, but oh my God. I think we killed it. <laughs> would you say so? Yikes. So yeah, that's the D-Series radial plane. Interesting mod, I gotta say. I really want to see how far it can fly, though. Please mod developer uh, Youngblood, I believe, is the, the creator of this mod. Can we get some wings on here? And a big freaking propeller? So then you could have infinite gri grip. Doesn't really matter, right? If you have a propeller. Yeah, that and some wings. But we can still see if it flies. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. We need to head over to the car jump arena, baby. Okay, so we're going to be pitting the weird versus the new modern uh, family SUV. Uh, which one should we try first? I guess probably uh, the Mercedes for like a baseline. We are going to use the V8 swap, though. So the probably the fastest version of it. Maybe the electric's a little bit faster, though. I don't know. But for this video, we'll just go with the V8. I mean, come on. Don't you just love sending boring cars off the car jump arena? I know I do. This V8 swap is insane, man. Oh my God, I can barely control this thing. Anyway, here we go. Almost 200 miles, 180 miles an hour. That should be a pretty good launch. And about 360, we'll call it 355. 
and immediately on our roof. This thing just likes to be it like gravitates towards being on its roof. <laughs> I think we're still going to make it to the pool. It might be a little close. No, sir. There we go. Into the pool we go. There's that V8 kind of poking out there. If you're curious how they stuffed that in there. Uh, so, yeah, the distance to beat 355. I think that this radial engine D series monstrosity, I think it might just be able to do it. The only problem is going to be uh, controlling it. That's a, a, the difficult part here. But if I can get it in a straight line, maybe it'll just stay in a straight line. No, actually, it hooks to the right just a little bit. That's okay. Still pretty quick. 173. Good launch. Oh, it might. It almost looks like it's going to be the exact same spot. You've got to be kidding me. Maybe a little bit, a little bit shorter, but nothing meaningful. I, I would just say it's about the same. I didn't do that on purpose, by the way. <laughs> I didn't know they were going to end up on the same, the same car jump arena distance, but I guess you learn something new every day. This thing's still puttering, even underwater. So there you have it, guys. Two wildly different mods, but honestly, they're both bangers. <laughs> complete beggars man i'll have the link to both these mods down below in the description as always they're both free by the way completely free uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already and you know what i will see you in the next one Bye bye